Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to the Resting God YouTube channel. Today's topic is the true vine. Have you ever struggled in your spiritual growth? For example, patience or love for your neighbor. We all do at times, including myself. However, would it surprise you that Jesus said, Apart from me, you can do nothing. What was Jesus talking about? Jesus is saying, independent from him, you can bear no true spiritual fruit. So the key to spiritual growth is abiding in Christ. Open your Bibles to John chapter 15, verse 1 through 6. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers. And the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. Verse 1. I am the true Vine. In the Old Testament, Israel was referred to as a vine or vineyard. However, they would fail to obey God, which would later lead to their judgment. They would become the false vine. By contrast, Jesus is the final true vine. In verse 2, we see two different branches. The first branch bears no fruit. This is a reference to apostate. This is someone that claims to profess Christ on the outside, but on the inside they don't truly believe. Eventually they are cut off and judged. The second branch is the true believer, which he prunes back so they, they can bear more fruit. Now let's look at the pruning of the true believer. Hebrews 12, 3-10 For consider him who endured such hostility from the sinners against himself, so that you won't grow weary and lose heart. In struggling against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And you have forgotten the exhortation that addresses you as sons. My son, do not take the Lord's discipline lightly or faint when you are reproved by him. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and punishes every son he receives. Endure suffering as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son is there that a father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline, which all receive, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. Furthermore, we had natural fathers who disciplined us, and we respected them. Shouldn't we submit even more to the Father of spirits and live? For they disciplined us for a short time based on what seemed good to them, but he does it for our benefit so that we can share in his holiness. The pruning may seem painful at first, however it has a benefit. Number one, so that we can share in his holiness. Number two, he prunes us back so we can produce more fruit. This, this can come through trials, adversities, hardships, and even suffering. So sometimes the trial we're going through may be pruning us back to produce more fruit. Now look in verse 5. 
It says, apart from me, you can do nothing. Remember, Jesus said, independent from him, we can bear no true spiritual fruit. There's no such thing as a Christian that bears no fruit whatsoever. However, the key to bearing more fruit is to be closely connected to our true vine, which is Jesus Christ. If you cut a branch off a rose bush, it falls to the ground and dies. However, the branch is still closely connected to the bush, receive nutrients and stability and strength. Once they are pruned back, they actually grow much faster. It's the same way with us. Now it's time for the application and conclusion portion. So how can we grow in our spiritual life? The key to growing in our spiritual life is being closely connected and abiding in Christ. Some of the ways that we can abide in Christ is to read our Bible, pray, fellowship with other saints, and submit to the God's discipline. As always, I hope this was helpful and may God bless you.